Hey guys, this is Security Guard Training of Houston, Texas. We're going to go talk about requirements to become a security guard in Texas. There's a lot of questions out there, man. We're going to help you answer some of those questions today. Now, on the description below this video, there's a lot of information that'll help you navigate on the stuff that we're going to touch on so you don't make a mistake. Now, what's the process regarding getting a security guard in Texas? Well, you have to take an introductory class, like a prerequisite, which is a six hour class. You can do that in person, you can do it online. There's a, several schools that do it online and in person. Uh, online, the good thing about the online aspect is 24 seven and it's all self paced and you can go pick up where you left off, you're not stuck in a room and doing it all at one time. So there's a lot of good opportunities in there. All right, and, and you can always go back to review the stuff to make sure you understand the laws and regulations. Now, after you complete the class and you pass a written exam, 50 multiple choice questions and 75 is passive, okay? It's a very easy course, okay? Very easy. You receive a training certificate. That training certificate looks like a diploma. You have to send it to the state, all right? And I'm gonna walk you through that process. The state has their own process regarding security registration. It's called TOPS, Texas Online Private Security. We're going to have the link below for you to follow through and look at the information so you can make the right steps. And there'll be a video incorporated with that so it'll help you so you don't miss a step. Now, once you submit your certificate to TOPS and register for your license, okay, the state's going to charge you a fee, okay? $62 for registration. That includes the fingerprints and all that good stuff. All right. The state's going to send you an email. The minute, once the payment's finalized and you put all your information, the state's going to send you an email. You're going to upload that training certificate that you receive from us or another training school. It doesn't matter. You're going to upload it. Now, please note that training certificate has a 90 day window. On the date of the class completion, 90 days from then is when it's valid. After 90 days, it's not valid. So the state might send you an email saying we need a current certificate. All right. So keep that in mind. So your window is a 90 days to get everything done. Fingerprints, registration, everything done. One, two, three. Now the state's going to say you need an employer. Now, an employer has to give you their ID number. All right. Now, our license number is listed below. That's that's not to be included as an employer because we're not employing you. Now, we do have employers and recruiters from other organizations that recruit from our facility, and we pass out information to our students, but we cannot guarantee you a job. How you get a job is knowledge, skills, and abilities, what you bring to the table, okay? So that's where that's at, Okay. Well, we will furnish that information to every student. That's what we do. We've been doing this since 2013. We've been helping everybody get to the next step. All right. Now, once you complete the registration process, you gave the state their employer ID information and all that good stuff. They're going to ask you for your fingerprints. You got to do everything in the steps. The registration, okay, with the state, submit your certificate with them, employer ID, fingerprints. The card's going to be sent to your home address in a mailbox, okay? It's gonna look like a driver license. It's gonna have your picture fixed from your state ID number. If you have a state of Texas driver license or ID number, they're gonna use that picture that they have. If you're coming from a different state, it might not have a picture on it because you did not upload your information with a state of Texas ID with the state. So you could register if you're coming from California, as an example, if you're coming from California, you could register from California, but you still gotta do your fingerprints in Texas. You cannot do. Your fingerprint. Oh, another question I get a lot. I got my license to carry. I did my fingerprints with that. Does that supersede that? No. You got to do your fingerprints all over again. Okay, I answer that question. Okay, so understand it's a process. If you need more information, there's all the links below the description that will walk you through the process. Open the links. Now, there's also an employer who sponsors us all the time for our, our, our videos. All right. Texas Crime Division, their information is below. If you want to reach out to them and look for an employment, they'll be more than happy to take your application. But like I said earlier, we don't guarantee no jobs. It's what you bring to the table. If you like this video 
in the contents of this video, you can give a like button. If you want to subscribe to our channel, that'll help us out to keep reaching out for more people and helping them out to go to the next level. You have a great day. Thank you so much. Security Guard Training of Houston, Texas.